Some florists try killing little brothers. Killers. When a journalist starts investigating a politician, he ends up losing his family. Cody! Cody! Damn, Cody, answer the man. What? What are you gonna do with your jet ski? Wendell? Oh, and your wife. Because I could have sex with her while you're in prison. Then is attacked by taxi drivers trying to rape him prompting him to kill them in self-defense before uploading a video of it online. What do you get I don't think so. when you cross I think a mentally ill loner with a it. society that abandons him and beats him like trash? Call the police, I'll Gene. tell you what you get! Call the police! You get what you fucking deserve! Which leads another serial killer to him, who makes his own murder videos and is infatuated with someone who tried to kill her own brother. Mm. Chop it up! Okay, okay. Then journalist goes to kill the politician, only to change his mind. It's possible. In fact, I'm now completely convinced it's true. Until he finds out the politician is a pedo, changing his mind on the issue for good. I'm sorry, that, that's a funny word. Oh, I thought we were laughing at the dead people we set on fire. <laughs> Sorry. While the other killer fails to bring another victim home, getting beaten up by her pimp, who he later tracks down and kills. I must have revenge against my enemies! The turtles! Before kidnapping the prostitute in his trunk, which police don't find, allowing him to finish his task. A hooker. Alright, you killed a hooker. Calm down. Here's what you're gonna do. Get your hands on some bleach, some hydrogen peroxide, and a shitload of lime. No, a panda. Amanda. Amanda? Come on, dude. I mean, that, that's probably not even a real name. Before laying groundwork for a meeting with the journalist killer, which takes place at a construction site. Oh boy, I feel just like Tim Allen. I build stuff and I have a criminal record. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Worth watching for out of focus antics. Yes. <笑>大丈夫だよ。どうせ言い訳して俺たちの時間を無駄にするんだ。目をつむってもいいんじゃないか。関係してるかもしれないじゃないですか。心配するなよ。大丈夫だから。